Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to send birthday wishes on Microsoft Teams from Google Sheets. So here let's say that in a Google Sheet, I've added the details of my employees. So here my objective is to send a birthday wish on Microsoft Teams on their birthday. So now to do this, I need to set up a connection between these applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pavli Connect. So if you want to learn more about this process, make sure to follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to send birthday wishes on Microsoft Teams from Google Sheets. So here let's say that in a Google Sheet, I've added the details of my employees. So here my objective is to send a birthday wish on Microsoft Teams on their birthday. So now in order to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So this here is the landing page and in order to reach here, you just have to type in pabli.com slash connect in your browser. Here you can see that I've got two options. One is of sign in and the other one is of sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard. And now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as send birthday wishes on Microsoft Teams from Google Sheets. On my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as auto greetings with Pabli. And now I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case that is to send birthday wishes on Microsoft Teams from Google Sheets. So now to begin with this automation, I will go to my trigger window and over here I'm going to search for schedule by Pabli as my trigger application. So here by using schedule by Pavli, I'm going to schedule the workflow. So I want to run this workflow on an everyday basis and that too at 8 a.m. So from this drop down, I'm going to select the time and now I'm going to click on save. So here it is successfully scheduled. Once I've done that, I will go to this action window and over here, I'm going to fetch the current date by using date time formatter by Pavli. So here the action event will be current date. So now I'm going to click on connect. And over here in the basic format from this drop down, I'm going to select the basic format as DDMMYY. So once I've selected that, now I'm going to click on save and send test request in order to fetch the current date. And here you can see that I have got the current date and over here it is the date of 9th May 2024. So as you can see that I have scheduled this workflow on an everyday basis and I fetched the current date as well that is of today's. So now I'm going to add an action step and now it is time for me to look up the data that is added in this Google Sheet. So over here in this action window I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my action application and the action event will be to look up spreadsheet rows. Now I'm going to click on connect. So here in order to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. Here I'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the select spreadsheet and the select sheet part. So this is the Google Sheet that I've created by the name of employee details. It consists of five columns and only of one sheet. So over here in Pabli Connect, firstly, I'm going to select the spreadsheet. And over here, it has automatically selected the sheet. So now moving to the lookup column. For which particular column I want to look up. So I want to look up for this birth date column, that is the column D. So over here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to mention the lookup column as D. So now moving to the lookup value. So over here in this field, I need to mention the date. But the thing is that in this Google Sheet, the date which I've mentioned is in date and month format. But the current date which we have got by using date time formatter is in a different format which will make it difficult to compare. So now to mention the lookup value over here, we are going to add an action step over here that will be of text formatter by Pabli. So by using text formatter by Pabli, I'm going to split the date. So over here, I'm going to select the action event as split text. And now I'm going to click on connect. 
and over here in the text to split field i'm going to map the current date so basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step so as i've mapped the current date now the separator will be hyphen and the segment index will be all because i want to split the entire date and now i'm going to click on save and send test request so here you can see that I've got the date, here is the month, and this here is the year. So now the format which is given over here in this Google Sheet could be matched with this current date. So over here in this Google Sheet action window, in the lookup value part, I'm going to map the date. So over here, this is the date 9th, and now by putting a hyphen, I'm going to mention the month as well. So here I've mapped the lookup value. So now I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request. And here you can see that I have received the response. So over here, the response which I've received is in a simple format. So I'm going to toggle off this button and I'm going to get the response in advanced format. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Here you can see that I have got the response, but now it is in array format. So now in order to process the arrays, we are going to add an action window. And over here, we are going to use iterator by Pabli. So by using iterator by Pabli, we are going to process the arrays. So now I'm going to click on connect. So here you can see that the response has been already selected. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that the arrays has been processed and I've got the value over here in key and pair method. So now I'm going to add another action window because now I'm going to send a birthday wish on my Microsoft Teams channel. So over here, Microsoft Teams will be my action application. And the action event will be to send message in a channel. But before moving ahead, let me show you that today is this employee's birthday. As per the birthday that is given, it is of 9th of May. So over here in Pabli Connect as well, the current date which we have got, that is of today's. So today is also 9th of May. So that is why this current date and the date of the employee birthday matches. So that is why a message will be sent in Microsoft Teams channel. So now I'm going to click on connect. And over here to add a new connection, you just have to connect with your Microsoft Teams account. So here I'm going to click on accept as this is a secure access. And the authorization was successful. So here you can see that Microsoft Teams and Pabli Connect is connected. So now moving to the team and channel part. So this here is my team by the name of Digital Initiative Public Relations. And here is my channel by the name of General. So here in Pabli Connect from this drop down, I'm going to select my team and channel. After selecting that, now I need to mention the message which I want to send on an employee's birthday. So I'm going to frame the message. So this here is the message that I framed. So after happy birthday, I want to mention the name of the employee. So as I've received the details from Google Sheets, so that is why over here I'm going to map the name. So as you would have noticed that in this workflow, I've mapped a lot of details. So basically this method of mapping is important so that every time you're going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as I've mapped the details, over here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received the response and this here is a positive response. So that means a message would have been sent on Microsoft Teams channel. So I'm going to show you the message as well. So here you can see that this here is the message that has been sent. Happy birthday dummy user wishing you a day filled with happiness and a year filled with joy. Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. Regards, Pavlitude's team. So here you can see that a birthday wish has been successfully sent to this employee on his birthday. So this automation was a successful one. That means a birthday wish will be sent to an employee on his or her birthday from the details that are added in Google Sheets. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications and create amazing automations by using Pabli Connect. So you can reach us at support at If you have any queries, you can write us to https.forum.pabli.com and for pricing related issues, you can visit this link. So you can create a lot more automations by using Pabli Connect and don't forget to share these videos with your friends, colleagues. Subscribe to our channel for more.